So we just came back from a 57.4 kilometer trip. I used the charge mode a little bit in between and now we are coming into the property with 26.3 percent left. I will leave the car for two hours now again and measure and see how far it went down. Interesting to see 3.7, 3.711 is the minimum voltage we have at the moment. Okay. All right. And turning of the car now. Several hours later, that's where we were when we came back. I wouldn't be surprised if the engine kicks in straight away now. It will kick in, definitely. You watch this. Brake. Bam. Here it comes. And resume live data. We have zero bars. 25.7 there we go that is massive again and that's why the engine kicks in we've got still 3.784 3777 there's no there's no blue bar anymore we were really low already when we came home but this is again from 26% to under 20% just while parking here. If, if this is just the calculation of the software, oh my god, there's a big bug in there. There's a really, really big bug. I can't believe this is happening, really. And as I said, this didn't happen before at all. There was nothing when I bought the car. I could park, I could drive 10, 15 kilometers leave the car there for days and it wouldn't change it wouldn't change so it can only be this software update they have put on last may that's the only logical explanation this is the only thing which has changed unless i've got a faulty hardware like a faulty cell somewhere which i doubt i have because the battery performance is still great and you can see the voltage is not overly high or low in one cell, in one particular cell. So there should be nothing well. And it's still happening. And I don't know why. And I'm running out of options a little bit. I know exactly when it happens and how it happens, but I don't know why. And when you explain this feature, this phenomenon to a dealer, they scratch their head and say, what do you want? It's not a fall in the car. Yeah, it's not it's not like it's running on three cylinders or the the rear motor doesn't work or the battery is not charging anymore that would be something they would look into but this year uh, it's very very hard to replicate for them and to troubleshoot i can understand that that's why i need a really good mechanic with knowledge of the phv which has a little bit of passion about these cars yeah, and knows maybe a little bit more than everyone else does. But here yeah, I doubt I will find someone. If you know someone let me know. I'm more than happy to get in contact with them. So this loss of charging while parking, this is a totally weird thing and it shouldn't happen at all. Same happens to your mobile phone if it goes flat and you leave it for a couple of hours and turn it back on. It works for a short while. So and this is how every lithium ion battery should work. When you give it time to rest, the overall performance, I wouldn't say performance, the overall voltage and conditions, they just approve when the battery is not in use. Yeah. But in this car here, it's the total opposite. When you leave it for rest, it depletes the battery. And we still we still 
I'm not 100% sure why this is happening. It might be the really, really crappy software which they put on. As I personally think it's not the battery itself. I don't think there's a load coming on after two hours and uses that much of energy. So we still don't know what's going on. We still can only speculate. We can measure and observe and make conclusions. And at the end we all know the state of charge and state of health is just an estimate of the software. It's very 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 hard to determine the real state of charge or the real state of health. You can only use certain parameters and each each manufacturer of batteries and battery management systems use their own metrics of different parameters to calculate the state of charge and state of health. And the algorithm to do this, I can only imagine it must be very complex. Because you can only measure certain, certain parameters like temperature, voltage, amperes, and that's pretty much it. Yeah? And then you can conclude and calculate all other parameters like inner resistance, the ability to take charge, to hold the charge. It's all being calculated together. Yeah? There's, no, there's no indication on one cell which says, oh, I'm on 80% state of charge at the moment. This all needs to be determined and calculated. And so it's more the whole software <laughs> does an assumption of what the condition of the battery is, <laughs> which makes it really hard. I fully understand this kind of problem with determine the, the real state of charge and state of health of battery. The question I still have is, why is it happening with this car and not with others? And if it is the crappy software they put on my car during the recall, why has no other car which had the same recall this problem? Ah, oh, maybe they have, but people don't pay attention to it. Maybe they just don't care if they turn on the car again and it has several kilometers less on the gasometer. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> and if this is a bug in the software, how do I tell Mitsubishi? How do I explain this to a dealer which potentially doesn't know anything about this car and the technology? They can only look into the can only look into the manual provided by Mitsubishi to them and do a step-by-step -step troubleshooting but I'm I'm almost 100% certain they will not find anything which they which they could potentially fix in the car I can explain when this fault is occurring so I don't know how to get back to Mitsubishi now and tell them we've got one car in the world or at least one one owner and driver of the of such a car which has found a bug in your software so that is really really they must have changed something in the algorithm as well when they did the PHGV ECU update that's the only logical explanation let me know what you think so, and as I have told you before, I'm measuring the heck out of this car. <laughs> Which I still do. I still have the dog running every time I turn it on. I still do. Okay, anyway, we, we won't get to an um, overall conclusion with this problem. I'll keep monitoring it and keep myself annoying about it. Because it is. And, um, yeah, keep you posted what's happening in the world of the PHUV which loses capacity while parking.